Hey, Crazy Will here today. Today we're gonna to be talking about frequently asked questions on the Canon Vixia. You got questions, I got answers. Stay tuned. Hey, Crazy Will from Crazy Will's Tech Show. Today, we're gonna to be talking about frequently asked questions that I have on the Canon Vixia. Now, mine is the Canon Vixia HFR 800, but this goes for almost every Canon Vixia, almost all every Canon Vixia out on the market. They all have the kind of the same features. That's the camera right there. Did a video, it's my most popular video. I get a lot of questions that I'm asked over and over and over again, so I thought I'd put together a really quick and, well, probably won't be quick, but I'm gonna put together a video that would show you frequently asked questions that you may have with this camera. Before I start this video, I want to say thank you to the loyal followers that follow me on a regular basis, so I'm gonna put them right down here and pop them up. And if I missed you, do not be insulted. I'm just slow sometimes. There is one one guy that I do want to talk about, he gave me a lot of credit and I probably don't deserve it, but I'm gonna put his name right down here. He's a musician. He wanted to make his own musical video and he did it. He, he wrote the music, he played the music, and then he put together a video and he gave me a nice little pat on my back saying, hey, I helped him out trying to make the video, which I just sharing information, guys. I really don't think I deserve the credit, but thank you and check out his video. I'm gonna leave a link down below. Very artistic, very cool angles that he did. I'm really impressed. All right, first question is from Kmart014. Apparently Kmart's watching me. The question is, is he has a new MacBook Pro, and as we know, MacBook Pros, unfortunately, even though they have that Pro in them, do not have SD card readers, which is stupid, but I don't want to get into a rant like I normally do. And he wants to know if you could hook it up to a USB port. Yes, you can, and I'm going to show you how right now. All right, so here we are with the Canon Pixia, right here, nice little camera. First thing we're going to do is we're going to open it up and you're gonna hit play and now we're in the play mode and you're gonna hook this end into here micro usb port like so and this cable comes with your camera it's the usb to micro usb port so we have it in that mode and now we were going to grab i have a little usb dongle for my computer we're going to put that right in there all right and as you can see it's loading you should see that little symbol right there blinking Okay, we're on the screen here. First thing I want to show you, if you do not have the disc that came with it, what you want to do is go to Canon's website and I will leave the link down in the description below. We're gonna to go to get product support. We're gonna to go to download drivers. We're gonna to go to drivers and downloads. So now we're down here. And this is the software pack that you want to get. Select that and you download it. I already have downloaded it. So we're gonna move this off to the side and we're gonna to go to the camera window. And this is the application right here, camera window. You know, open that up. And it sees your camera, which is really nice. Tells you how much you have left space. You can import images from the camera. Import in transferred, select images. Uh, let's go to select. And there you go. That's a video that I was working on. Told you guys I still use it. So you can click on individuals and download it that way. Let's grab this one. It's something I didn't use. Let's go to import and we'll let that import. Okay, so it actually imported, like I said, I, I don't really do this. I usually just use an SD card. And honestly, if you're gonna do this, I would definitely get an SD card reader that you can connect to your Mac because it would just make this so much easier because doing it this way is kind of a roundabout way. But I wanted to show you it was able to do it. It popped up this window as soon as I closed out of the program, but it went to my Mac user, my account, pictures, and then this folder. So, I mean, there you go. The next question is from Cure Radio. I think I'm saying that right, and it's down below. And he is asking about how to capture the Canon Vixia onto your computer. I'm guessing live streaming, so I'm looking at the question. It's probably live streaming. And he also wanted to know about the aperture. Okay, first, the live streaming. You need a capture card, an HDMI capture card, in order to pipe this streaming to your computer. They're usually around 100 bucks. I don't have experience with them, so I am not going to recommend a capture card I will 
plop up a picture and show you what they look like and that's what you want to look for do some research find a capture card if I ever get into streaming I may get into this part of it but it's not something I'm really interested in I do a lot of editing to make sure that I keep all my uh and my <gasps> breathing out of these videos as far as the aperture goes, I am gonna show you how to do that right now. Okay, so I know this isn't the most ideal way to do this, but I'm gonna show you really quick. When you go into a shooting mode, and right where my nose is, I'm gonna show you the house, and I'm just gonna show you this real quick. When you go into a shooting mode and you pick, usually it's set to this, auto. We're gonna go down to what I chose, this is what I usually choose for mine. We'll click okay, I like vivid and then hit OK. When you go down to the corner here, this icon right here is a camera with a gearbox. We're gonna click on that. It's gonna open up all these settings and we're gonna go to exposure. When you click on exposure, you're gonna get this window right here. We're gonna click on the M and there's your exposure right there. You can dial it down to negative 0.3 and like I said, I'm not a camera guy so I don't really know all the technical terms here or you can bring it all the way up to plus 2.0. Don't really know what all that means, but if you're one of those people that are looking for this feature, you'll probably understand it. From what I gather, it's an f-stop, circles it, it's the aperture, aperture. Pretty sure that's what it is. I may be wrong. Leave a comment down in the section below. So the next question that I have is from Belinda. She writes, in my old camera, I used to be able to take photos. Can I do this on the Canon Vixia? Yes, yes you can. Unfortunately, the only bad side about this is you can only take photos, I believe, in only auto. You have to switch it back and you'll see a little camera. And I'm gonna show you guys that right now. Okay, how to take photos. Unfortunately, in the mode that I'm in, which is a more complex mode, it is harder to take photos. What you need to do is you need to go back to the little house where my nose is, go to the house here, click on that, and we're gonna go to shooting mode, and we're gonna click auto and hit okay. And now that we're back in auto, everything is automatic. This is why I really didn't use this feature. If you see, right here, there's a little, looks like a camera button. If you click on that, it takes a picture. Let's do it again. Hey, we take a picture. So that's how you take a picture with your Canon Vixia. I'm thinking Pizza asked, what is the maximum capacity of the SD card? I'm thinking Pizza. This can be a little tricky. From what I read on the Canon website was 2,048 gigabytes, the capacity of memory card that you could put into this thing. Now, me personally, I've only used a 64 gig SD card and I used little uh, mini so that way I could put it in the adapter and if I need to use it for other things like Raspberry Pis or GoPros or wannabe GoPros, which you can see my video here on the wannabe GoPro, really good. At 128 gigs, at the highest resolution, you can get up to eight hours, and that's 60 frames per second, eight hours of record time. I don't know if you really need that. I mean, usually I swap out the SD card, upload the video, and then erase it, and then go on with my day. It's just me. Things you might see and ask, <laughs> these names are getting funnier, Ask me how I handle the glare on my LCD screen. Now, if you notice, there's no viewfinder on the Canon Vixia. So yes, glare is a problem. It's not like you can just go to a viewfinder. Now, they sell devices. I don't know if I'd recommend it, but they sell different types of devices. One is a little cardboard cutout that goes over the top of it. Another one is a whole huge device, and I'm gonna show pictures that you can look through and actually use it as a viewfinder and it's covered. Those are some options. Another option, and it's what I use, is just turn up the brightness on the screen. And I'm gonna show you that right now. Oh, I really hate this method, but it works. So let's go through it again. <laughs> okay, so now to change the LCD brightness. Real simple, guys. What we're gonna do is right where my nose is again, where we see the house button, which is right th there, right there. We're gonna click on that. We're gonna go to other settings, other settings, and we're gonna click on the second tab with all the little, I don't know, looks like an abacus or something like that. All right, and we're going to go to LCD brightness. 
and we're gonna turn this up. Now, if you want to turn it up so that way you can see in the sunlight or turn it down. I, I like to keep it in the sweet spot, but that's what I do to get it. Brightness, you can turn it up or turn it down, make it darker, make it lighter, or even lighter. I don't know, I, I just play with this whenever I'm shooting and I can't get it to work right. But that's how you adjust the brightness. Like I said earlier, you can get hoods to go over this LCD screen or you can actually get a kind of uh, viewfinder thing for your eye. Web Surfer asks, how long does it take to charge? That is a really, really, really good question because if you're gonna charge it through the camera, which I highly recommend you get some aftermarket batteries. If you charge it through this, it's gonna take eight hours. Eight hours to charge it on this. You plug it up and you charge it through that way. Now you can run this straight off the cord and record. If you're close to an outlet, you can still run this. But to charge it eight hours, that has my, been my experience, eight hours. I'd have to charge this on my quick charger you're talking four hours and then you have you know between the one you got and the extras like I said take a look at my video on Canon Vixie accessories because I have a really good battery set up on that and four hours and I have three batteries I could swap these out while I'm talking and if the camera goes dead I can keep it going yeah four hours opposed to eight hours and you're using that I didn't really care for that little adapter right here it's proprietary and it it didn't feel very strong putting in, so it's, it's like something that over time is going to break. I think the batteries cost me 30 bucks, or 20 or 30 bucks, I forget what I, what I paid for them, but I have it in that video. You charge it and forget it. I mean, you don't have to worry about knocking that off or breaking the power cord or anything like that. Really like it. Battery lasts a long time too. I, don't know, I think I, on this big one I get two hours. On the other one, I get an hour. Roughly, that's not scientific. That's just from what I've seen in my experience of making these videos, and I have made a, quite a few videos. So, I'm gonna stop rambling. We're gonna get to the next question. Pixel Fuzzy TV. I'm gonna put his little thing right here. Ask me about the zoom. You can adjust the zoom, and I will show you that there is a way to change the speed of the zoom. So, and, and it, it is quite important, especially if you're filming sports or you're doing a lot of things where you're working with the zoom. I don't really work with zoom that often. I just stumbled across this feature, and I want to share it with you. So let me share that with you now. How to change the zoom speed. Real easy. Again, right where my nose is, we're gonna go to that house. It's right here. Click on that. Click on other settings, and if you scroll down to, oh wow, it's even got a self timer. Zoom speed, click on that. Right now it's a veritable speed, so if you push down on it hard, it goes fast. These are the different speeds. They all are different. Uh, some are faster, some are slower, so pick your speed of what you would want your zoom to be, and that's, that's basically how you change the zoom. So let's exit out of that. Zoom speed. All right, so someone asked me a question. I couldn't find it in my comments, and it was a really good question. They wanted to know what frame rate the Canon Vixia can shoot at. It shoots at 60 frames per second, 30 frames per second, and 24 frames per second. So it does have different variants. The menu is a little different, and I'm gonna show you that right now. So how do we change the frame rate? Real easy, guys. Right where my little nose is again. See the little house, which is right here? Click on that. Let's go into instead of other settings we're gonna to go to video quality when you click on this I wanted to show you this because it is a little confusing and people don't realize this I always have it at 24 megabytes per second and if you go to the little eye it tells you can you could do the frame rate at 30 or 24 so you can pick the 24 or 30 I like the 30 that's kind of what I work with same thing with 17 megabytes per second if you click on that, you can pick which one you want. If you went to the 35, which I'm gonna do real quick, I'm gonna switch this out, bear with me. Let's go to shooting modes, and I'm gonna put it back to auto. Okay, so now we're in auto mode. Let's click on the house again. Click it on the house, and let's go to video quality, and if you go to that one, that's 60p recording. So high quality, automatically, it's the highest quality you can get. That's the only way you can film in that one is 60. And for some reason, you can only do it on auto. So like if you go into like the settings that I have, which I always change it from auto to cinema, 
because I just like the way that looks better. Video quality, it won't let me change it into that one. So, let's so that's all those questions that those wonderful people have given me. I really appreciate you guys commenting, liking, and subscribing. I know which ones you are that subscribed, and I really appreciate it. I hope in the future if somebody has some questions, I can refer them to this video, and they don't just have to see my writing of explanation that's probably going to be horrible because I cannot spell to save my life. That's it for today, guys. Make sure you like and subscribe and share. And remember, you can do anything, and I mean anything, if you put your mind to it. Later, guys! Pixel fuzzy. My battery's dying. Damn it. <laughs> this isn't a Marvel movie, guys. There's no secret ending, no strategy or something. Just hit like and subscribe and maybe click on one of the videos above. Don't know what to tell you.